So here is my old KLX. I've decided to turn this into an e-bike, an electric bike. I've never ridden an electric bike before. I stripped it down properly. And um, I got my box here, battery box. We're gonna see if this battery box fits. As you can see, it doesn't really fit. It goes in, but it snags on stuff. I ordered a battery that was similar size to this box. Now, I'm not the most methodical person, so I don't know if I've done this correctly. <laughs> no way. No fucking way. Apparently, I don't even know how to cut a straight line. How the fuck does that happen? Here I've got my controller, which I've plugged into A, B, C. And then I've got this pink wire coming up to a switch. My on and off switch, which I've connected to the positives. This connects up to the battery. So now is the test. Is this going to work? Or is this going to blow up my face? <laughs> Let's see if Frankenstein works. Ooh, there's a zap. Oh. Well, something definitely switched on. And... So this is my throttle controller. Let's see if this works. What the fuck? The worst welds in the world. <laughs> I made me some very bodgy brackets to go here. Let's see if this baby's gonna start up. Well, at least we know the battery works. This is my on switch. Give it a few seconds. Fucking works. It's still got a bit of work to be done on it. Obviously, this is just temporary. I haven't built a proper bracket for it. And I'm going to have to cut this and weld on a shorter lever because this is really way too far in front. Um, and waterproof all of this because the battery, really the battery is literally exposed at the moment. But yeah, we'll plug this in. And it's not in gear. <laughs> Let's see. First ever ride. Switch it on. Make sure it's in the slow mode. Stick it in gear. What the fuck? This is so weird. switch down here so I don't accidentally touch it.
These ones were 50 bucks from Craig at White's Racing. He, he took them off his old Ninja. And I don't know how the fuck this guy rides a Ninja, but I have never seen a tire that melted. But they're pretty much brand new. He's only done one session at Eastern Creek, I think, and he gave them to me for 50. So I'm gonna chuck these racing tires on. Cause yesterday I just had these random whatever the fuck tires and it's a bit slippery so I'm gonna try this put some warmers on take it for a spin today I've got a 50 at the back and a 10 at the front to give me a 5 to 1 ratio. Uh, but if I wanted a more top speed, I'll just need a slightly smaller pocket. Because there is no engine vibrations, I could feel all of these other sensory inputs that usually I don't feel on my other motorized vehicles. It's things like little little movements in the ground, I could feel little pebbles that I usually can't feel because my bike is vibrating too much, whereas on this bike I could feel everything and even the suspension moving up and down. It was really, really noticeable on this bike. So I'm not sure if the bike is actually lighter. I'm pretty sure it's a lot heavier than my 250, but the bike feels lighter for some reason, and I don't know why. So it feels like you've got, you can feel the grip a lot better, and also the bike just feels lighter. The biggest downside was the range though. I could only ride in the fast mode for about 40 minutes to an hour before the battery started to get low. So here I'm just heading home. Whereas on my 125, I could spend the entire day at Luddingham and I'd use one or two bars 